Hello from beautiful Shirkston Shores here in Lake Erie. In front of you right now is the quarry. This is a spot where everybody comes to sunbathe, swim, paddleboard, rent some, rent some floaty things and little canoes. Just have a good time. I'm hoping the wind isn't too loud. That's why I came over here. It's a little bit quieter. The lake right now is just roaring, but surprise, here I am. It's little old me, Terratopia, coming to you on, I think today is Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. So I am here in Shirkston Shores for the week with my girls. I had a great time this past weekend. We had some friends up here and we went to like this little disco type thing and we sang and had a great time. We danced all night. It was just a lot of fun. Uh, the band is called Stone the Radio. Great band. It's really like our jam is all like kind of 90s stuff. Red Hot Chili Peppers and Green Day. And you probably saw the video of my friend Leia and I dancing. Leia and I have known each other since grade nine. And what's freaking us out is her youngest daughter is going into grade nine <laughs> next year. Um, and then there's my daughter going into grade 10. Then my other daughter is going into grade 11 and then her oldest daughter is going into grade 12. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12 between the two of us and it's just mind-blowing um, that we've known each other that long um, and that our kids play together and get along and it's so nice and three of our girls are all going to the same high school. Fiona's the odd woman out and went to a different high school but she was accepted to that school as well but it's just it's so nice to know people for that long and my friend Lennox who I've known since I was like 15 or 16 he came up with us too and we just had a good night it was it just felt like we were in high school again it was so much fun uh, but without all the teenage angst and chaos and curfews and we were more worried about our kids being alone in the trailer <laughs> so but it was a great night and now everyone's gone but it's still fun. The girls and I, it was pouring rain here this morning. So the girls and I went to, uh, where did we go? We went to Port Colburn. They wanted to check out a thrift store there. And then we went to um, Crystal Beach, walked around in the rain. I got soaked, we only had one umbrella, uh, but the girls went and we had lunch there and we checked out stores. Now the sun is out again, it's all bright and beautiful. And, it's just paradise here. It's just like a lot of cool people, a lot of drunk kids that you can laugh at and just a lot of fun. It's, it's such a nice place. And the girls and I have been coming here for the past three years, every summer, and we just really enjoy it. And the person that we're renting from this year, she's amazing. She like left us drinks in the fridge <laughs> to try. So we're leaving her back a couple of drinks for her to try. So. We're all getting educated on on uh, gin coolers. So she left us some Dylans, which we love. And we're gonna leave her some gin smashes, which we also love. Not as much as Dylans, but they're good in a pinch because not every liquor store has Dylans. So we're gonna leave her the alternative. Uh, she's a great lady we're renting from. Really cool, great, great place. So super clean, great location. Definitely plan to rent here from her again. She's just awesome. What else can I tell you? I've been having issues with my phone. I think I have the S, Samsung S20, it is. And the issue with this is that they don't have SD cards that fit in here. So I've been having issues recording. I ran out of space. I take a lot of pictures, so I'm gonna have to uh, figure that out. So if anyone has um, knows what to do, like please tell me because I am clueless. I'm not a tech person at all but I need video room because I'm going away again and I almost gave away where I'm going. I'm going away in September again uh, after the Walk to End Suicide, the weekend after. Uh, the Walk to End Suicide is coming up in September the 9th in Hyde Park. And uh, originally when uh, my committee and I created the goals, 
We thought 15,000 was going to be super aggressive. We thought maybe we would get 20. But we thought we'd set a goal for future years and build up to it. And then the other goals were, of course, to spread awareness about suicide within Canada, who's most at risk, uh, memorialize those that we've lost to suicide already, raise some critically needed funds for our organization, and just have a something to bring our community together, break stigma. And it's amazing because right now when I checked, we are very close to $100,000 in funds raised which blows all of our minds. Uh, we had a difficult time getting sponsorships this year. So our sponsorships were extremely minimal. So the fact that just we've exceeded our fundraising goal, I think we're like 170% over our goal already. is just amazing and I can't thank everybody enough. And I can't thank any, like, I can't thank all of you enough for those of you who have made a donation to my page. Uh, my fundraising goal is $1,500. I think I'm at about 1000 right now. Uh, I still have to enter in some people, um, but it's amazing to me just how generous everyone is. If you want to donate to my fundraising page, it's uh, you go to www.tinyurl.com backslash dcgtwalk. And I'll put um, something in the description later that has that uh, email address. And you can just look me up. It's Tara Monks. And, you know, please uh, consider making a donation or you can just donate to the event itself. It doesn't necessarily have to be in my honor. But if you can, that would be fantastic. And, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I'm just really excited. I'm just, I have to enter in a grant later tonight. It was something that, eh, anyways, it's work and it's for a good cause. So I will spend the, the, an hour tonight doing that. But after that, no more work for the rest of the week for Tara. That's just done. Uh, I really needed this time and this space to kind of sort my head out, sort myself out. Uh, I've been doing my therapy work. I reflected on a bunch of things that my therapist asked me to think about. I wrote it all down and all the things that I forgive myself for. And I burnt that in the fire last night and we're having talks about how I need to have more passion for myself, which is great. And the things that happened in the past are now in the past. And looking at moving forward as a more confident, more compassionate, more loving, person to myself which I think is important for everyone setting better boundaries and not giving up so much of me in relationships moving forward which is great so that brings me to the next topic I'm sure you're all wondering what's going on with my love life and the truth is there's nothing going on with my love life I have decided to focus on me for right now, my goals, my needs, reflect, figure myself out first. And I have to do that before I can really be everything for somebody else or not everything for somebody else, but let someone into my life. It's actually, I'll tell you guys a funny story. So my friends and I were on the beach the other day and our friend Lennox took all the girls to go get mozzarella sticks from some food truck. So it was just my girlfriend Leia and I uh, on the beach. And this uh, gentleman came up and he introduced himself as Stephen with a PH. And we we're like, nice to meet you, Stephen with a PH. And Stephen was part of a bachelor party and was obviously inebriated. And he asked uh, if we were married. And like a dummy, I said, oh no, Leia is, I'm not. And then he was, I was the one. I was the one. He kept trying to kiss me. <laughs> Thing is, he's like some MMA fighter. And he was, he was like, the whole side of his body was like bruised. Like it looked like he got hit by a truck. And then he had like all these burn marks on him. I'm like, what happened to you? Did somebody put cigars out on you? And he's like, yeah, 
um, I told, I dared the guy to do it. And I was like, you what? And like, they were infected. And I was like, oh my God. So when my daughters came back uh, with our friend Lennox, you know, we we're talking to Lennox and everything. This dude rushed our friend Lennox and he, and he started yelling at him. He's like, hey man, you get out of here. These are my women, <laughs> right? So we had to calm him down. We had to get his brother and his friends to calm him down. But uh, I was like, great. If this is what I'm attracting in the world, I think I'm just going to stop. But um, yeah. And then my oldest daughter was like, what the hell? It's like an episode of Survivor and The Bachelorette all in one shot. She goes, you got to line up on the beach. So that was, it, it was flattering. And like I was wearing a bikini for the first time. I've never worn a bikini. So here I am in my little bikini feeling all insecure. And I, and I had a nice line up at the beach <laughs> trying to talk to me. So Kira, Kira was trying crack of jokes she's like if you want my mom you better get those roses it's like the bachelorette up in here bachelorette Canada call my mom as the next contestant it was just so funny but yeah so life is good it's uh, interesting and uh, yeah I just think I need to take things slowly work on me make maybe make some new friends. I have a lot of friends but maybe make some new friends and uh, just remember who I was before I got married and the things I enjoyed oh and another thing um, I was posting some pictures from up here and my cousin he left the day before we got up I didn't know he was up here and I was kind of disappointed because I would have loved to see him you know uh, hang out with him a little bit uh, but he, he had left the day before we got here, but he mentioned that a friend of ours from elementary school was working up here. And the last time I had spoken to this person, uh, he was running a food truck out in Niagara somewhere. So my intention up here was like to write him and say like, hey, I'm in town. I'd love to come see you. Where's your food truck located? So the girls and I will come by like when we're heading back to Toronto and we'll grab some food from your food truck if you're around. But turns out that he works up here and he manages like all the bars and restaurants up here. So I, I got to see him, he came for a visit. Like that was amazing, it's so nice to see him. Uh, such a good guy. So it was nice to see him, I haven't seen him, I don't think I've seen him since elementary school to be honest, but we've had conversations before. Like he's a really good person. So that was exciting. I'm just grabbing my latte here. I have a nice latte. Oh, and it got on my nose got on my nose so yeah that's where I'm at um, so work is good I'm good friends are good kids are good did I say the kids are good the kids are always good they have an easy life um, I'm just excited about the future and I'm just happy happier I guess it's just so calm and peaceful and the water and the Sun and you know my only real responsibility is feeding my children right now and I and I'm just enjoying it very much and it's a euphoric feeling it's free I feel calm I can breathe it's nice the water is so calming these are how we should this is how we should all live all live by the water as far as I'm concerned. It's just fun. Everyone here in Shirkston drives on golf carts, by the way. It's like their big thing. So, I enjoy it. I think what I'll do is I will figure out how to hold this camera steady. I'll probably drive and have my daughter hold the camera. And we'll give you a tour of Shirkston tomorrow in case this is a place you've ever thought you want to come to. I highly recommend it. Uh, I would recommend a private rental instead of the Shirkston Sun Shores or whatever they call themselves rental. It's just a, it's just a great, calming, fun place. There's lots of activities for kids to do. They have some great bands, fireworks. It's just calming and relaxing. Most people are chill. I did get into it with one lady here today, but that's another story for another day. She can go to hell. Um, she needs to mind her business, but that's beyond 
Uh, I'll tell you that story another day. But I just want to thank all of you for the support. I'm feeling great. I'm sunburned. Oh my God, I'm sunburned. You should see my stomach. It's horrible. <laughs> so, so all my girls and I, we're all fair skinned. We had like the SPF 60. We reapply every single hour and each one of us is burnt in a different place. And somehow I missed my stomach. And maybe I should show you my stomach. I don't know if you can see this. But I am burnt to a crisp on my stomach. You can see it on my nose, but my stomach, oh my god, it's so painful. I have aloe, I bought aloe. It's just, I can't, like having a shower is hell. It's just so, it's like, ah! So it's just, no matter how much we reapply, that's okay, it's once a year. Anyways, I'm going to head off. I have to feed the kids. I just wanted to give everyone an update, tell you why I've been a little absent, that I'm good, I'm great, and I love all of you so much. And I know this is kind of like a boring video. There's not that much excitement. I should have recorded the argument I had with this lady, but that's another time. Anyways, take care of yourselves. If you can donate to the Walk to End Suicide, that would be fantastic. I would appreciate it so much. And have a wonderful day, everyone. I'll keep you posted. Bye.